Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Wix Enthusiasts. Today, we are enhancing your Wix website with the dynamic capabilities of Google Maps. Stick around for a step-by-step -step guide on how to add Google Maps to your Wix website in 2024. Ready to make your website more interactive? Then let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing is to head up to your Wix website. So here I have several Wix websites. So I'm going for one of them, for example, my site number one, and then I'm going to choose to click on it. Then after you open it, this dashboard should be opened. Then we have to head up right here to the design site. And in this area, we will be able to see the page builder of our website. So here we can add stuff, remove stuff, adjust stuff, and do whatever we want on our site. So we just have to wait until this preparing your site line finishes and load it to the end, and we'll be good to go. Now, for this topic today is very special because we need to add our location or our business location somewhere in our website so people can actually know where they are going to come to visit or where they are heading to actually visit our store or our shop or our company so they we can start making money out of it so here this is my website this is basically it and what i'm going to do is to simply click right here to add a section so go between sections and click to add section so here this so this thing will open which is right here what we have to do is to simply click on this plus button instead and all of these stuff will be shown right here so let me just go back to the section that i have just created which is supposed to be somewhere here i guess but anyway here it is so now what i'm going to do is to search for map and if you really try to search for map here uh, somehow you wouldn't be able to find it even if we try to search here let's try map you wouldn't find it as it is but you can find it if you search for a specific thing so here there is something for example there is full width map so if you want to contact forms right here and you want for Google Maps you can find these two options either maps or full width maps so here for example i'm going to choose this maps and i'm going to click on it here there is several ones several options uh, depending on the colors that you want to choose so there is a lot of designs that you can go for and there is a lot of things so you can really choose whatever design you ha you would like to have so for example for me i'm going to go with this one which is the normal google map colors and i'm going to make it bigger then for example here they are they are basically making uh, the default map or location is the wix office so we have to change it to our business location so simply what i have to do is to click on these settings right here and after you click on it you will see all of these things so you will have zoom you will have a lot of things to do so let me just click here so for example here in the settings you can zoom out zoom in let's keep it at 13 here you can show map and satellite views we don't want it to have to be so zoom control for example we want it to be fixed uh, so sweet view control we don't want that so we don't want this to be there so directions link so here we don't want that and hello dragon so for example you if you want the, the user to go through the map and go move it around well this is the option that you have to go for so these are simply the settings for your google maps right here which are pretty simple also here you can find some other settings like switching it and doing a lot of other things here in this area you can manage the location so you can from there change the location or the address from the default address which is normally the works office to your office for example here I'm going to change it to the White House so White House let's search for it and there we go so here we have the White House let me just zoom it in so something like that all right and basically here it is this is a map from Google maps that we have added to our website now you might think that this is the only way to add it to your site but 
No, this is not the only way. Let me show you the second way, which is basically by going to Google Maps. There we go. Click on Google Maps once more. And right after you do that, you simply have to go to uh, anywhere. For example, let's go right here. Let's zoom in. And for example, let's say I want to go to Santa Clara Nova Gomez Ares, which is, I don't know what is it, but it seems like a, a forest. All right. So let's say I want to go right here and choose it to be my location. So we have to simply click on share, click on embed map, and we simply have to click on copy HTML code. So as we did that, we only have to do next is to simply head up to our page builder, click on this plus button so we can add elements. And here simply search for embed code. So it should be somewhere right here. Input, embed, interactive, embed code. Here it is. And choose it to be HTML code. And here we go. So now just paste the code that you have gotten from the Google Maps. Click on update. And simply now you have to wait, make it larger and adjust it as you want and here it is this is your let me just remove this this is your new google map that you have added using an html code so there is a lot of variation as you saw guys to add google maps inside of your wix website you could use whatever you want we can also go for the other thing which is here full width maps so here for example i'm going with um let's see something normal um, I don't know maybe this one okay this one let's go with this one so here it's just simply a full width map so it's gonna like simply look like a banner inside of your website so it's gonna take the whole area from the edge the left edge to the right edge so this is exactly what it means with a full width map the same things for it you can simply make it stretch or not so you can literally make it smaller or stretch to full width or just simply make it like that to be uh, a little bit smaller so it's going to be half width and here you can adjust the design you can pin design you can change a lot of things you can even choose a specific icon to be as the design of the pin design you can even choose it to be your own business logo so there is a lot of adjustments a lot of things to go around to play with so you can manage to have uh, the google the best google map on your wix website so first thing was to add it through this plus button so add elements go to contact forms and add maps second way was by using the embed code function by copying it from your google map by clicking on share and the third, third way is basically by using full width maps so guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial